Hello there. Oh. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of All About a Fursuit, the series where we interview furries. Get to know a little bit more about the furry fandom. One fursuiter, or furry, at a time. Yas, 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 yas. We have made it to season five. Yas, 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 yas. We have made it to season five, everyone. Here is actually the logo for season five. It's really awesome. I want to thank Split the Floof for making this logo. It looks amazing. Huge thanks to Split for making that. Um, yes, we have made it to season five. I, 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 it's astonishing. <laughs> it really is. Um, I actually did a count for all the seasons. We have introduced 75 furries. 75. <laughs> That's just astonishing. It's amazing. It's, um, uh, it's an astonishing bundle. <laughs> it's amazing. It really is. Uh, but yes, uh, for those who are brand new to the series and brand new to my channel, in this ongoing series that we have done for five years, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, we so I interview five for I, uh, <laughs> I interview a furry in each episode. I ask them five questions, and at the end of the and at the end of the question, at the end of the fifth question, we'll do a switcheroo round. Yes, a switcheroo round, and they'll ask me a question. And then the season five premiere, we are interviewing none other than. Felix Wolf. Yes. So let's get into it. Let's ask him those questions and get to know more about him, shall we? Yes, let's do it. Hello, everyone. My name is Felix Wolf, the fluffiest music geek on the web. Thank you for having me, Benji. Hope you're doing well. Heck yeah, Felix. It's awesome to have you on here. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you so much for being on the show, Felix. Yeah. The first question I want to ask you, Felix, is how has wrestling impacted you in real life? So my first exposure to wrestling was from a Little Caesars ad back in the 90s. Strangely, I didn't really follow through with that until 2007 when I went to my first wrestling show, which was a WWE SmackDown ECW taping. As a young teenager, I was looking at all this and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Amazingly crafted. I, I want to do this eventually. But when I decided I wanted to get into wrestling, I couldn't because work wouldn't really allow me the time to actually start my training. So finally in 2020, I left my previous job and decided to start training to be a wrestler. But then the pandemic hit and halted that for a little bit, but started my training just a few months later. Growing up, I was always a shy kid and being a pro wrestler, you kind of have to really bring yourself out. I really do think professional wrestling helped bring my inner personality out, even if I'm still a bit more reserved, I'm a bit more positive and outgoing, I think I'd say. You know, I think that it's really awesome. I'm not a wrestling fan myself, I'll be honest, I'm more of a football guy, like NFL football guy, Chiefs fan especially, yeah, go Chiefs. But no, all in all, I think that it's really cool that you have inspired yourself to go football, go with um, wrestling and wanted to do like a positive thing with that with your life. I think that is really cool, man. That is so neat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On to the second question now. And that is, what is your favorite moment being a furry YouTuber? E. Honestly, for me, uh, my favorite has to be the filming because whenever I'm filming a YouTube video, I never really like to film up by myself. If I'm filming with someone behind the camera like I am right now, I just, hi Nate. Hello. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm talking to someone and honestly that makes it a lot more fun for me. The editing process can be tedious, but at the same time, it also gives me a lot more stuff I can do with my videos. Like maybe I can add this effect or whatnot. So mo it's mostly the filming, but editing is a close second. I'll be honest, <laughs> filming is really cool. I love filming. I love interacting. But as you said, you have a person behind the camera. For me, I don't have a person behind the camera. Pretty much every video I do, I don't have a person behind the camera. So I am just talking, which I do enjoy, but I actually prefer the editing. I way more enjoy the editing. Because while I'm editing, I can interact with you, I can interact with myself. I enjoy that a lot, yeah. On to the third question now, and that is, what is some advice you would give a furry who is first starting out in the furry fandom? Just don't steal art, ever. 
Don't use like someone else's art as your Facebook profile or Twitter profile. Just don't do that. Mm -hmm. Make your own character. Or at the very least, you can adopt one from a bunch of different artists. You know, I will admit that is really plain and simple good advice. Don't steal art. <laughs> I'll be honest, don't steal art. That's very plain and simple. Um, I had seen a lot of people do it, and you don't want to do that. That's a big, pretty kind of no-no. Don't steal art, kids. Boy. <laughs> On to the fourth question now, and that is, who is your favorite WWE wrestler? So my favorite professional wrestler goes by the name of the rated R superstar, Edge, who actually, as of the, this recording, just returned from injury. But if I had to pick someone that's more fresh and modern, my favorite WWE wrestler would have to be maybe Johnny Gargano. I'll be 100% honest, I knew none of those. <laughs> I knew none of those. <laughs> I, yeah, I knew none of those. The only one I know, the only ones I know are John Cena and Chris Jericho. <laughs> That's about it, and those are the most common ones. <laughs> no, but seriously, that is awesome, dude. That's awesome you have a hobby you really enjoy, you have something that you're passionate about. You said that brings a lot of positivity to your life. That's really awesome, dude. And you're spreading that among others. That's really neat. And now, on to the fifth, 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 fifth and final question. Yes, 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 yes. And that is, what are some positive things that the furry fandom has brought to you in your life? It's given me a bunch of friends, people that I consider family. And I really do think, not just wrestling, but this fandom in particular has made me a lot more outgoing and positive, especially with expressing my sexuality as a gay man. I really do think that this community has done a lot of good for me. You know, that is really, really touching. That is so cool that all that positivity has warmed, warmed you that much. That is really neat. There's so much positivity in this fandom, so much kindness. There might, we all have some negativity when we see it. But overall, this fandom has really lifted me, lifted you, and you, it's amazing. You're so positive, Felix, and I like that about you. Yeah. All right, now it's on to the switcheroo question. Oh, I'm always nervous about this one, everyone. <laughs> and this one, Felix, is going to ask me a question. Let's get to it. <laughs> so, I am a bit of a music nerd, as you can probably tell. So my big question to you is, who are some of your favorite bands and musicians? Oh, that is a good question. Although I can answer this one pretty quick. <laughs> Easily my favorite singer is Madonna. Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. <laughs> Easily. And my favorite band is definitely War Republic. I enjoy War Republic's music a lot. Which are both pop funny enough. Again, I want to give a big, 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 big thanks to Felix the Wolf. Huge thanks. I'll leave all his um, links, his social media, everything in the description down below. <laughs> I hope y'all... Oh, I think I booped my suit <laughs> too hard. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, thank you so much, Felix. You are such a positive influence on the fandom. Really happy, happy to have you on the Season 5 premiere. Per awesome guy. I still can't believe we made Season 5, everyone. And I can't thank you all enough for us getting to Season 5. Seriously. As you can see here with the recap, a little recap here. We have made it so far from Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, and now Season 5. We did it, everyone. We got to Season 5, and I, we couldn't, I cannot, we cannot have done this without you all. Thank you so much, everyone. You all are awesome. If you guys enjoyed this, give this a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. But for, but, <laughs> but as for always, and as for always, again, thank you so much, and I bid y'all a good farewell.